Hi YouTube, my name is Emiliano and today we're gonna paint with acrylic paint and specifically we're gonna draw a landscape it's a photo I found in Unsplash of Yosemite I don't actually know the place but it's really beautiful and and yeah I'm gonna talk you through the process I I used uh, to do this painting and what I actually ended up learning uh, doing this painting and yeah hope you like it and and let's just jump straight into the time-lapse so first I decided I like the picture pretty much as it is so I went ahead and decided to start sketching in landscape view <laughs> no pun intended then I started really really roughly sketching the planes I saw naturally in the picture at first sight uh, with the help of some reference lines uh, I drew across the center I start to just draw uh, very lightly with an HP pencil so that the indication I'm making are just that, indications. And I didn't like how it was looking and since I think it's completely okay to erase and go over lines in the sketching phase, I didn't think about it too much. Besides, uh, if you don't like the sketch you gotta go back to it as much times as you need to uh, because it's the structure of your actual finished piece I see this happening a lot and it happened to myself that I'm too quick to move from uh, the sketching phase and end up with a really polished piece and you can tell there's a lot of work behind it but something just not right and it comes back to fundamentals or like they commonly say uh, drawing mistakes the proportion isn't right perspective isn't right or shading or something as simple as, as if the piece is actually centered meaning uh, does it drive the attention to a point or do you look all over the place so after I was done sketching, I went ahead and applied my first coat of paint. I went for a very light gray. I just covered uh, what I what would end up being the sky and then moved on uh, from that to start painting what would be the foundation for the mountains and started adding a darker gray to sort of outline the mountains and right after I feel them, with this really cool bluish dark green then to quickly put white on top to create the illusion of mist <clears throat> uh, I felt like I felt like that made the outline a little messy so I just tried my best to go with it and fix it along the way then I drew this big fat tree <laughs> I painted it with a plain old dark green but I gave it that bit of bluish tone to go with the palette of cold colors we're using I painted these big pine trees uh, way on the back then moved on to the right side of the piece and drew a few more pine trees uh, this time I used a really dark green that resembled more to the black that it did to green so there you have it I hope you enjoyed the video and I actually don't have the finished piece with me but I really hope you enjoyed it um, and and yeah uh, I, I actually there's actually a lot I couldn't fit in in the final cut because I it was it was quite a lot of piece even though it didn't it didn't take me that long so <clears throat> I'm making a blog post and I'm posting it on medium uh, with all the description I couldn't fit in the video and I hope you enjoy that and um, 
and you can go ahead and, and connect with me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave that up here and on Twitter too. And yeah, see, and and hope you stick around. Uh, there's There are gonna be three videos a week, so definitely stick around for that. And we don't have nothing else to say. Goodbye.